Hello, my friends, and welcome to part two of our living room makeover. I'm so happy to have you joining me today. If you didn't get a chance to see part one where we built this great uh, wall, accent wall here in our living room, make sure you check that out before we get started today. Today we're working on just decorating the space. So I've got this bag here full of great decorations. These first two items here you saw me spray paint in the previous video and here's how they turned out. And then these next several items I purchased from Michaels in their new home decor line. I absolutely love it. These great eucalyptus stems. They are faux, but they're beautiful. I found this great vase at Michaels. Loved the color and the texture, as well as this sweet foldable sign. So very pretty. I loved it so much. All of the new items that I got at Michaels were 40% off because they were part of their fall line. Uh, so that was a really good deal, except for this candle here, which is one of those LED candles that wasn't on sale. This candlestick here is from TJ Maxx. I just loved the color of it. And this candlestick I've had for some time, it's from Hobby Lobby. Shorter, but very, very pretty. This sweet um, embroidery piece here is also from Hobby Lobby. I've had that for a long time, but I loved it a lot. This sign, these are the good old days. I don't remember where this is from. I think it's from an antique shop. And that sweet little mini frame is from Michaels. So we're getting started by hopping on to Etsy to find some prints. So Etsy is where I go if I need to find anything, um, you know, for like a printable picture or, you know, anything printable, printable planner stickers. I even just recently um, purchased a um, like a teacher saying that I could print for back to school for my kiddos teachers so um, Etsy is just a great place to find really creative things like that so I just searched for a farmhouse print um, I looked for one that was square like three by three I didn't find one however I found this sweet picture of the barn that I felt was um, you know, small enough and the right size that I could make it work in that little tiny frame. So just getting that purchased and then um, I did send it to the printer and then we'll get back to that piece here in just a minute. So I'm starting off with this large photo of my family. We had this picture done back in Las Vegas. Actually, my sister-in-law took that picture for me. It was really beautiful. It was such a great shot and I love it. It is blue. It's very blue and gray. So it's not, doesn't really match my home decor anymore. And I think I'd like to put a large mirror up there um, and move this picture somewhere else, but for now, this is where it lives. I was considering getting a new frame, maybe a wooden frame, but I left it alone for now since I wasn't sure what I'd be doing. I just laid out all those decor pieces on the back of my sofa, and now I'm just gonna start slowly but surely adding the decor items. I started by bringing in all of the green elements, so the faux eucalyptus, as well as the real pothos there. Um, I started by putting those up so that I could have a plant element on both sides. Um, I just felt like that was really pretty. And then I brought in the two black pieces. I knew I wanted to have one on each side of the photo just to kind of balance out the color. Um, and then I would work around those. So that would be like how I would start is kind of like with an anchor piece. Um, I'm not really one for like giving advice, but if, if I were to give you advice, that would be the advice I would give you is start with some anchor pieces and then work your way around that. So now I'm just adding a candlestick to each side because I didn't want to have them both on one side since they weren't, um, they, they weren't meant to go side by side. Uh, and now I'm just filling them in. I have two saying um, pieces. So one is that foldable piece that I'm working with now. 
And then the other one is that sweet sign that says these are the good old days. I knew I didn't want them on the same side, so um, I just was moving them around. I moved the these are the good old days to the other side because the font looked a little too similar to the embroidery piece. So that's why I moved them around. So now I'm just gonna fiddle with this for a little while until I get them exactly where I want them and even then I'm gonna end up moving them around a little bit more so I'm mixing in pieces that I already have pieces that I just bought um, I did realize at one point that I needed to scoot over that eucalyptus um, the faux eucalyptus because the door right there goes to the garage and we do open and close that a lot and so um, Danny goes down there every day to dump the dehumidifier and so I definitely didn't want that eucalyptus to get stuck in the door so I do end up moving it over uh, but that's the way it is for right this second <laughs> but I do end up pulling pulling it over a little bit so it doesn't get caught in the door and once I run out of new decor pieces I'm gonna go shop my house and you'll see that here in just a moment First thing I grabbed from elsewhere in my house are these two taller pieces that I had on the shelves over by the coffee bar. I knew I needed some height and so that's why I snagged those. They're both from Target. Um, they were in the dollar section during Christmas last year or the year before. Um, but I love them and I keep them up all the time. I also felt like I needed a couple more like little smaller filler pieces. So when I initially started thinking about decorating this shelf, I didn't know if I was going to decorate the entire shelf from one wall to the other or from one end to the other or if I was just going to kind of do a little bit on each side. But I love the really full look. So I decided to go full on out. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> My name is Tiffany and I like a more is more style. I know that's not everybody's jam, but that is definitely my jam. So now after I printed up the little picture of the barn, I'm just um, cutting it out here. I'm using the little piece that came inside of the frame. I, I washi taped it to the picture and now I'm just cutting it out. You know, just take you back to like cutting your pictures and fitting them into, um, you know, those little little tiny picture frames you could like hang in your locker and stuff that's what it reminds me of um, but I just thought it was such a sweet little picture frame and I just another way to you know display a, a nice scenic picture so I'm gonna add that up here and then we're going to move on to the next part of our decorating Again, I just walked around my house and looked for some items that I could add up to this little shelf. One being this sweet little creamer jar here. And I had some faux florals in the bathroom that I stole. So I just added that in there and decided to pull out that sweet little cross from the bathroom as well. And now I am finding something to hang on the peg rail. So it looked really empty. So I had these wood beads that were hanging on the picture frame in the corner of the living room and this faux string of pearls that was hanging at the end of my island so I added those love how those turned out and now we're gonna work on the little section of wall on the other side of the door and these are two prints that I found on Amazon I'm sorry not on Amazon on Etsy that I bought and um, printed I'll have them linked for you down below if you're interested 
Um, and now I'm adding them to these beautiful white matted frames that I purchased at Walmart. I think these are $14 each, but they're really, really pretty. And there's a strip of wall um, closest to the window on the other side of the door to the basement. And Danny and I were going back and forth on whether or not we needed to add some beadboard to that side of the wall. We definitely knew we didn't want to add a shelf that just seemed silly and the door would bump into it and you know everything so we weren't going to put a peg rail over there and so I messaged my cousin Susan and I was like what should I do and she suggested putting two pictures and I loved the idea and it just fills the space really nicely and I told Danny I said you know I can change up the pictures and move them around for the holidays if I wanted to switch them up and it would just be another way to decorate in here so i'm really glad that she suggested this because i love the way this turned out so i just again searched for some farmhouse prints and i chose a few that were neutral in color and looked a little primitive and i love them i love how they turned out and then I did have Danny bring them over to the strip of wall. So do you see what I'm talking about? Like I couldn't tell if it needed to have the beadboard, but I love how we ended up doing this. So I'm just standing back to look at, you know, how they're hanging up there to make sure that that's where they need to go and that I like it because we did have enough beadboard that we could have done over there if we needed to. So now I'm just adding a little bit of a command strip and that's my new favorite way of hanging up pictures. Our walls are plaster and they do crumble quite a bit when you try to hang something onto them. So I'm trying to put as little amount of holes in the wall as possible, but uh, the command strips really help with that. So holding the picture where I think I want it, using the level that Danny is holding there to make sure it's straight. And I'm just adding those two pictures. As long as you get the first one straight and you put the other one directly underneath it, you should be okay getting the second one straight as well. And I am obsessed with how this turned out. It is so sweet and so pretty. I just love it, especially with that fake fiddle leaf fig there that I got from Michael's. Just absolutely beautiful. last thing we're adding to this wall here are these beautiful black gooseneck lamps I purchased on Amazon. I decided that we needed something on the wall on either side of the picture. So I did look for these goosenecks. Now I know that we did not have the wall wired for lights here. So we did end up purchasing some puck lights that we could add underneath so the light could be functional even though I don't turn them on all the time. We did have them on the other day when we were watching a movie. We had all the other lights off and just these lights on while my mom and my daughter were knitting while we were watching the movie. And actually we weren't watching a movie, we were watching Gilmore Girls. <laughs> we restarted the series while my mom's been here for two weeks. It's been lovely. Um, it's fun to watch it with my daughter now considering I watched it. I've, I've watched it for so long and so many times it's fun to watch it with my daughter but it these lights did give just enough light behind them they were sitting on this side of the couch um, to be able to turn off the other lights and still comfortably be able to see so I'm glad I put these up but like I said I'm not sure if we're gonna keep the photo up there I'd really like to get a nice mirror for up here just to really make the space feel bigger and to bring in more light and we're also working on that antique door that has um, all of the lights. I think it's a 12 pane window uh, door. We're working on that for the basement door as well. There is a window on the other side of that door. So another way to bring in light is to add that. So stay tuned. You'll be seeing that in a future video. Right now I'm working on getting it sanded. I'd like to have it as a natural wood color, but it's not looking like that's really gonna work. We'll see, I'm still holding out hope, but if not, I'm gonna paint it to match my pantry door. So stay tuned, that's coming up, but we're just gonna let Danny take a minute here to get these up. He just mounted them to the wall, even though he had no, you know, nothing to connect them to. And then we add in the puck lights here in just a moment. Thank you. 
these puck lights I did also purchase on Amazon. They came with three and they also came with a little remote control, which I ended up mounting on the wall with a command strip um, right by where the other um, on and off switch is so that I don't lose it and I can just hit the button. Um, you can still take it off, but this again just adds a little bit of light and I love how it turned out. They're so pretty and I feel like they mirror the two gooseneck lamps that we have over by the coffee bar and it's just perfect. It's so pretty. I feel like it finishes the space just right. So Danny's going to get this picture back up and then you'll get to see the final reveal. Here it is my friends here is the final accent wall decorated with the lamps up everything is done I am obsessed with how this turned out it really just cozies up the space and makes it feel full and complete and I absolutely love it it is so beautiful and thank you to my husband for helping me make my vision come to life so hopefully you got some inspiration in these little makeover videos I know it's not a ton of change but it's just enough to add some coziness to your space so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did I'd love to have you consider giving this video a thumbs up I'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more I post new videos every Wednesday Friday and Sunday and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, my friends. Mm -hmm.